Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Sutton, host of Servant PT Podcast, owner of Servant PT. Help women 50 and over live a life full of health, family, and fun. Today I want to talk about demonstrating love. There's a lot of people that do a really good job of demonstrating love for others, uh, demonstrating love for themselves, uh, demonstrating love for um, the world that we're in. There's a lot of people that do a really horrible job of demonstrating love, and just been kind of thinking about that this morning on the way to work and uh, listening to a book. And then today is one of my good friend's birthday. Her name's Sharon Jackson. She's a personal trainer in Fort Worth, but she's so much more than a personal trainer. So she and I have known each other for about 17, 18 years. And I met her when I was 19. Yeah. And she was a exercise physiologist at Green Clinic in Ruston, so she still is. She's got a bunch of different certifications. She helps a geriatric population. She helps. She's a trainer for for fit moms, really, and and so all that is is great that she's that and, and she's successful and amazing person. But I want to tell you about the best thing that she ever did for me is she demonstrated love. Um, Sharon was uh was kind of ran the gym that I, that we worked in in the physical therapy clinic or she did run the gym and she was really the first um well, it was the first time I had a really good friend that was wasn't a guy and you know she's she was married she had kids and uh we got to be close to you know me and, and all the college kids got to be close with her and her family uh, you know we always used to go out and We'd go to movies together. We'd all hang out together. And we just got to be really, really close. And, you know, she was always there for me in college. She was always there for, for all the other college uh, students and, and really for anybody. And it just got to be where she's just one of those people that's always looking out for somebody else, always um, putting other people first, you know, always encouraging somebody. And... And I, I feel like I demonstrate some of that now, but it's whatever I have now is is you know definitely related to that time I spent in Ruston working at that clinic with her. And you know, let's let's be honest, I wasn't I was nineteen, twenty, I think I was twenty one or two when I when I stopped working there, and I had a horrible temper. You know, I was a I was a, a young kid, <clears throat> full of testosterone and stupidity. And, you know, I didn't always demonstrate those traits, but she always did. And, and I always appreciated that about her. And, and over the years, we haven't been able to, um, you know, see each other. We we interact through Facebook. I've talked to her on the phone a few times in the last few years. I've done some things, but well, I haven't seen her in a long time. And I don't know, it's, it's probably been well over 10 years since I've seen her. But we still have that connection through Facebook and texting very you know rarely but it's just amazing to me the the love that she showed it didn't matter if you were young or old black or white um there was there was nothing no status if you had no money or if you were the richest person in town uh, treated everybody the same and i saw her interact with people that were poor rich young old black white whatever it didn't matter she always treated people exactly the same she always made people feel like they were the most important person to her at that time. Uh, always loved them. Always encouraged them. She didn't wait till they left and say, "Oh my gosh, that person, you know, is ridiculous," or, or "This, you know, I can't believe they dress like that," or whatever. You know, stuff that people do all the time. She just always loved on people, and she always loved on us. And uh, yeah, I remember one time I went to. Uh, I didn't get into physical therapy school the first time. And I was crushed. So my GPA at Louisiana Tech was a 3.1. Uh, it was a 3.6 my freshman year, and then I worked about 40 hours a week the second year, and it dropped to a 2.6, I believe, was the lowest it got. And so I struggled until I graduated to get it back up to a 3.1. And, and I did it, and that's a respectable GPA, but it was you know almost impossible to get into PT school in LSU with that GPA. So... Um, you know they didn't want to take a chance on somebody with a with a low GPA, but 
anyway, I, I didn't get in, and so I was going to move to Texas and go to um, school out there and get a strength and conditioning, uh, master's in strength and conditioning, and uh, that's what I was going to do. And so Sharon and, and Della, another wonderful woman who is a, a great mentor to me as well, spent, um, you know, took up a collection for me, and they gave me this, like, stack of money, and I can't remember how much it was. I think it was $180, $200 maybe. But it, at the time, I mean, that was like a fortune to me. <laughs> and so, you know, minimum wage was like five fifteen an hour then. And, I mean, that was just a lot of money to me. And more importantly, it meant the world to me. And, uh, and it was just one of those things in my life. Like, I'll never forget the way I felt with when everybody gave me that money. One, I was kind of em- I was embarrassed at first. But at the same time, I was so thankful, so grateful. And... And I used that money to move, and, you know, it helped support me for a little while. And I'll never forget, I I didn't stay in Texas. Um, I lasted about a month. I hated, I did not like it. It wasn't what I was supposed to do. Uh, I'll tell you my prayers for going out there were like, hey, God, I think I'm going to move to Texas. Hope that's okay. And I was like, hey, I think, yeah, I think God wants me to do this. So anyway, I moved to Texas. I didn't like it. I came back, um, literally told him on a Friday I didn't want to stay. Um, said I'll stay if you need me to they were like no if you don't want to be here leave so Monday morning at 7 they told me that I was back in Ruston in a bed at 7 o'clock the next morning (laughs) so anyway I just remember being so shameful about spending that money and and not staying and not doing what I said I was going to do and so I kind of sneaked into Green Clinic and and talked to some people and you know and I can't remember if I told Sharon or Della or who and they're like Jeremy it's you know we didn't give you that money to for you to go do whatever you know that we just did that because we love you and, and we appreciate you so you know there again just always demonstrating that love there's too many people right now that are demonstrating hate um you know it's, it's just hard to watch people tear each other down and and just do stupid things and and talk bad about other people and um, you know do things to people because of their uh, financial status or their race or or whatever it just gets old and uh it's just just a, a lot of that that's going around and uh you know i just think it would be a whole lot better in this world if we would just all demonstrate a little bit more love so if you're struggling with that just just remember that that we're all out here trying to do the best we can and uh we've all got issues we've all got struggles so show somebody a little bit of love today and uh cut them some slack give them a little bit of grace Sharon, if you see this, I'm so thankful for you. Um, love you. I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. So have hope you have a happy, happy birthday.